Well, good morning, everyone. It definitely feels like spring this morning. We had so much rain last night, but the sun is shining now. The garden is waking up and it just feels so great. I just love these little water droplets on the leaves glistening in that spring sunshine. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, I did manage to get a couple of jobs done this week. I have trimmed the privet hedge, which is at the front of our house. Now, our neighbour did cut the majority of it down for me, but it just needed a bit of tidying up and just a bit of the weed, the large weeds that are on the top. So I managed to get that done and now we can see a nice view from the conservatory. So that's absolutely lovely. Right, we're going to go to the back of the house now where Lee is hopeful that he's going to get these steps finished. Now, he has been working on these for quite a few weeks and because of the weather, he's just had to stop and start and stop and start. So I'm hoping that today's the day that he's going to get them finished. Fingers crossed. Now, if you haven't, uh, if you are new to our channel before and you haven't seen any of our videos, um, I will link at the top here a link to a video that just explains the back of the house and the gallery that Lee has taken down. But have a little look at this little video that I've put together and hopefully today will be the day. The steps will be complete. So let's fingers crossed and let's hope that happens. Right, so setting up the handrails, trying to get the right angle to make sure it's all spot on. Um, so I've taken a couple of measurements from the top of this section down there. Uh, that gives me an indication that that's telling me it's going to be 960 high. Uh, which is, so I've marked off 960 here. Um, and then I've clamped this on just to give me an indication. Have a look, see what it looks like, see if it looks equal enough. Um, and it looks pretty good to me. So, uh, and I've also measured from this point to that point, so I then know of this point to this point should be as well. They should be the same. So, and it'll help to make sure that this post realigns itself uh, when I'm using it. So, just need to get on and get a piece of timber out, mark off the uh, angle to make sure when I cut it, it's cut at the right angle. For handrails, I'm just using treated CLS timber, Canadian lumber stock um, timber. It's nice enough chunky. I don't, call, I don't like the sort of fancy handrails so much. I prefer a nice straight piece. This is slightly lighter than I wanted it to be, but overall it'll look fine when it's all done.
right hand it just gives me the right angle I want to make sure it fits nice and snug I have to do it right because I've only got the right amount of timber so it has to be right first time okay I'll cut the second one now so that copy of this one slight adjustment on the on this end here um, post is slightly out of sync but it um, should fit quite nicely now That looks pretty good. I will be putting another timber underneath here just to give it a little extra stability on the posts. Um, as soon as that's in place, we'll cut, then I'll be able to start with the, the wires and the cables. Right, so the handrails have been installed now, they're all done, they're in place, looking nice. Um, so the next job is to get everything ready for the, the wires in place here. So I've pre-drilled some pilot holes here, um, and I've started to install these hooks. So as soon as they're in place, then there's a couple of other attachments. So this is adjustment. So this allows you to t uh, tighten the wire up and it's done. And these bits here fit in, making it all nice, nice and smooth with the wire. So this fits onto here. This fits in there. And then the cable goes around. And then there's some um, crimps, which you use to um, to, uh, to hold the, uh, the wire in place. Uh, as soon as that's in, then you can crimp it and as soon as that's done you can then uh, wind this up and that tightens it and then it'll be all nice and tight gap between each one is approximately 4 inches or 100 mil uh, this is building reg so you've got to make sure that obviously uh, no children can fall through um, so nice and safe for anyone who's using the decking area sure that the holes are lined up. This first top one here is going to be here, so it's above the post, second one here, it will come down, this one down, and so on. So I've marked off the holes, I'm going to change a couple of, I've uh, made a couple of movies, so I'm just checking now.
Cup of tea? Tea. Sounds good. That went well. Holes lined up very well. Good. I'm videoing you, videoing <laughs> you. <laughs> Does that make sense? You videoing me. With me videoing me. Oh, that's it, yeah. yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Raring to go. Tintagel Castle, it's high tide, uh, it's a bit windy so there's uh, some nice waves about. We're back from our walk near Tintagel Castle and Lee is about to start putting the wire in. When you've done that, you tighten this up. Oh, I'll do that. I'll check to make sure it's right. One down. I've got these primroses here that I had left over from the other day then when I was doing um, the little section near the wall so I'm going to put these into a pot and I thought they'd look nice um, just at the top of the steps the steps that Lee's obviously working on so I'm going to put them in a pot now and then we'll see when Lee's finished the steps what they look like. Mm -hmm. 
It's about finished now. Looks really good. It's just tightening up a few wires. Just to make sure the uh, the wire is still tight enough. Um, first time we've used this wire with the clips and stuff like that, but um, overall the thing looks pretty good. So I'm really happy with it actually. It does. Looks great. I put my primroses on the top there. Add a little bit of colour. But yeah, it looks greatly really happy with that. What I've got to do now is paint the door grey and Lisa's just got to finish the guttering but apart from that all finished. Thank you for watching everyone hope you enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe but I'll be quiet now so you can enjoy this beautiful sunset but see you next time bye